Hey guys, Scott here from the Mental Metal Channel and MentalMetalDetecting.com and today's quick tip is going to be on the XP Days 2 and the equalizer. How to go in there and find the equalizer, turn it on and actually use it. Now by default I believe the equalizer is not on, um, but I want to give you a couple tips here to turn it on and actually what difference does it really make. So if you happen to have a set of the WSA2 headphones, the XLs, like I have here, the full head, full over the ear headphones, um, I believe these type of headphones make the biggest difference when using the uh, equalizer. I also have a pair of the Grey Ghost Platinums. I don't notice a big difference when I use the equalizer on those headphones as I do with the uh, WSA2 headphones. That, that means uh, WSA2 XLs or the WSA2 half puck or behind the ear headphones. Um, is those headphones that are made for the day originally will have the most impact as far as the equalizer goes when you change it. All right, so I'm just going to show you how to get to the equalizer and how to make some changes, and then you guys can set up the way you, the way you want to and the way you think it sounds best for you. To get to the equalizer, you're going to hit your go into your option feature. Right now, I got the big number display on, but um, it'll work the same if you're in a program. Um, when you get to your option menu, you're going to actually scroll down until you find the audio feature. And then you're going to hit the select button again. And if you don't have it highlighted on the equalizer, you're going to have to scroll down until you get there. But when you get to the equalizer, you're going to hit the select button again. Now by default, I believe it's off. If you want to turn it on, you're going to hit that middle button. And now your equalizer's, it, equalizer is on. And now you can change each one of these um, channels on your equalizer. And to do that, you, uh, I'm sorry, actually it's on by default. If you want to turn it off, hit the off button, sorry. Now you can change each one of these channels by scrolling over by the arrow key to change each, each channel, whatever you want to do. And then to actually make a change, you're going to hit the plus and minus button to raise it up. You're going to hit the plus button. To lower it, you're going to lower the minus button. Use the minus button. And you can do this for each, each one of these and make it sound the way you want to hear it. I personally like mine set up this way. Let me show you here. I raise mine all the way up to this. I... We'll raise my next one up just slightly. The next one up slightly. And then I'll raise the last one up. Man, Rocky is making some serious noise. And that's how I like to have my equalizer set up. All right, and that's how you do it. To turn off, turn off the equalizer, all you do is hit the off button. And now you're back to the beginning. Or if you turn back on, it'll remember your settings. Check it out. Try it out. Let me know what you think in a comment. If you use the equalizer or not. Uh, if you do, I'd like to hear what or I'd like to hear what your settings are. Uh, but that's it for the quick tip today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another mental mental video.